Hey everyone, it's Melissa here. I have a new and exciting video for you guys today. And I'm in like a different area in my closet. Um, normally I film like that way. And this time I'm filming this way. I felt like giving you guys some eye candy back here. I have all of my handbags over here. Not all of them because they don't all fit over here. But yeah, I kind of just felt like changing up the scenery for you guys so i'm sorry if the lighting isn't that great because the lighting this way isn't that great if you guys understand but anyways today's video is going to be on a fashion file unboxing yay um this i purchased a couple of not a couple of weeks ago when did I purchase this? I don't remember. Um, I'm just gonna use like some scissors to open up the box. Ooh, there's like things coming out of it. When you open it, oh, these are new. This is what it comes with. I think I'm gonna keep these for like Christmas presents because Christmas is coming up. So that'll be cute to put in there. Oh, they gave me a, um... sorry, it's like stuck on there. They gave me a little um, nail file, but this is how it looks like. Um, sorry, that was probably like my little picture for um, my thumbnail. But these are really cute. This is new. Normally the other ones were just strings and these are all little circles. So definitely going to keep these for like Christmas stuff. So obviously, I already showed you guys, it comes with a nail file. I really like their nail files. They don't always give you guys like a gift with purchase. I don't think so. Um, I usually always get a nail file. And then if you buy something like towards the end of the year slash beginning of the year, they end up giving you a um, calendar, which I have one from last year. And then obviously it gives, it comes with a big thank you. And then it comes with the receipt in here. And like a whole bunch of other cards letting you know that this is like 100% certified. And obviously my receipt is right here. Um, as you guys know, I love Fashion File because I like to buy really nice expensive handbags for obviously a more affordable price. So this is the actual bag the one thing I am unsure of the bag is if I want to keep it or if I want to gift it as a Christmas gift to someone I'm not quite sure what I want to do with it yet um so like yeah these are my first impressions of the actual purse I haven't seen it I kind of like brought it home and then like just tucked it in somewhere so like I wouldn't see it every day and I and like it wouldn't bother me it's honestly not that long it's only been a day like just sitting there but this is the box that is empty the one thing I like about them is that they are like very much into like the packaging detail everything being like super like secure and make sure that the bag is gonna be good when um it travels like it has all this extra paper right there which i end up using for my handbags like to stuff them and then yeah i just like the whole attention to detail because it makes you feel like you're at the actual store buying the actual bag because of all the packaging stuff this is their dust bag i don't remember if this bag came with its own dust bag or not i'm not sure but whether it does come with the dust bag or not they always give you a fashion file dust bag oh, oh i don't want to see it hold on okay this is the bag and okay Ooh. Oh wow, they, I was like, I was wondering what this was. So I'm guessing this takes care of the little thing that's right here, just in case you end up, um, I don't know. I don't know why this takes care of that, or I don't know why they wrap that. I've never had any issues with it, but I got the Jimmy Choo. Let me see the receipt. 
the Jimmy Choo small cotton small Tulita shoulder bag. Let me show you guys. There you go. I got the small Jimmy Choo Patton two liter under bag. Was the original price that they had it for on Fashion File was in $195. And then I got a discount of $80. So I it ended up coming out to $123 bucks for a high-end handbag, you guys. It's almost like the price. Well, it is. It's the, like the price of like a coach bag or like a, Mike, a Michael Kors bag if you buy it like at TJ Maxx or something. It, it ends up coming up the same. But I really like this. You guys know how I felt about the other bag. I didn't like the other one. It was not cute. Um, it has like these little... I'm, I don't know, like they're scuffs. I don't know if you guys can see them. It's just like a line right there of scuffs. So it's not too bad. I'm wondering if maybe I can wash them off. No, they're, yeah, they're actual scuffs, which is fine, but it's on like the the side that like no one sees. I like that it is a, that you are able to put it over your shoulder. And then it just opens up. Ooh. Okay, Patton. It opens up like this. Ooh, the interior is really nice. It's like this sway material. And it obviously says Jimmy Choo on the plaque in the front right there. And that's kind of like how it closes. It's pretty, It's. I think it's pretty secure because obviously with the Patton, it like sticks for some reason. <laughs> I don't know if you find that to be a good thing or a bad thing. I don't mind it just for security purposes. And then obviously it has that really nice sway material. You can obviously see um, a little bit of, not a little bit, but you can obviously see that there are some wear on the actual um, sway. Is this like a button or like a magnet? I'm not sure. And then I was thinking this was a pocket, but it's not. It's just the zipper area it is a zip closed purse and then it came stuffed which is really nice normally i don't know i don't know if this is new or not but the the bags used to not come stuffed they used to just come with their dust bags and maybe stuff with the paper but now they have this air paper which i love and i can reuse obviously for other bags or this one as well and then and then it does come with its dust bag. The dust bag is a little bit dirty. And I feel like they might have washed it and it probably turned pink. Because I think Jimmy Choo's dust bag is actually white, not pink. Um, it's really soft, like, patent leather. And I'm surprised because normally patent's, like, harder and tougher. But this is, like, a really soft patent. And then on the inside, it comes with a pocket right here, a zipper compartment. I'm like trying to show you guys. Uh, a zipper compartment right here. And it comes with this little like button thing right here. Uh, does it, is it a button? Yeah, it's like a button. I don't know what it's for though. But I think it's missing, like, the other side of the button. I don't know if you guys can see that, right? I feel like it is. Or did this just come off? Yeah, this just came off. I mean, I don't know what I would use that for. But... The zipper's pretty smooth. And then on the inside as well, it does have like an ink mark stain on the inside, like right there. Like maybe someone left their pen opened. And yeah, for it to be, it was in good condition. So for it to be in good condition, it's like in like pretty good condition. Um, I would definitely take like a wipe or something to just kind of clean all of the patent down because I feel like that's what it really needs. It has a couple more of little stains that I'm looking at. 
and yeah it just has like little stains it's a little bit dusty so maybe whoever had it just didn't wear it at all for like a while and then it just kind of collected dust and all like the little crevices and like all the little like edges and stuff and it seemed like they might have tried to clean it because you can see like some watermarks but it didn't go so well and yeah it has some more like scuffs right in front but it, these seem like you can clean off where the ones in the back it didn't really seem like you can clean them off Ooh, it has feet on the bottom so it does have feet on the bottom you could probably guys see a little bit more of their wear but the good thing about patent is as it wears like these little marks you can't really tell unless you're like let me look at your purse you know I don't know what to do I really like this bag because I've been like trying to find smaller bags that I can downsize to that I can wear. And I really like this. So I don't know if I should give this to the person that I'm thinking of as a gift or if I should keep it. But I really like it, you guys. Like, it seems like a practical bag. I don't know. Like, look. Like, I really, I really like it. I am going to keep it, so let me cut off this this little thing, because I am going to keep it. When I seen it on the computer, I really liked it, and I was like, okay, I have to get it. And then when I bought it, I bought it with the intentions of buying it for myself. But now that I like have it here, and like I'm looking at it... Like, I really want it for myself, but, like, after I bought it for myself, I was thinking, like, maybe I should give it as, like, a Christmas gift. But I think I'm going to end up keeping it for myself, y'all. Like, I really like it. I am going to just clean it and maybe switch into it now. Let's see. Let's do that. Give me a minute. The bag, and I just have two like super clean towels these are like the big pack that i normally buy from costco on one i'm gonna put just a little bit of water sometimes i use baby wipes but i don't have any that's what i normally use on this bag on like all of my bags but i don't have any baby wipes i just put a little bit of water on the actual rag and I'm just running through it and then I'm going to dry it with the other rag. I'm going to be switching from my um, huge Burberry bag to this little teeny tiny handbag. And I'm actually going to film that on a separate video. So stay tuned for that video on how I switch from like a really big handbag and just downsize to a really small bag. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and I shall see you guys soon everyone. Take care. Bye.